Hi, my name is Ale and in this video I will show you how to implement a floating action button, also known as a FAB, utilizing Swift UI. Floating action buttons were popularized by Google as part of their design patterns called material design. And it's very common to utilize a FAB to put the main action of your app very close to, to the user so that it's easier to access it or to tap it on, on their touch devices. For example, Twitter utilizes a fab that lets you create a tweet and you can also long press on this button to show more actions that, that you can take. We're going to implement our own fab utilizing Swift UI and it's actually very simple to do this. The first thing we'll need is to um, we're, well, we're going to use different types of stacks. So we're going to use a Z st stack, which basically allows you to um, insert views in your app that are on top of each other along the, the Z index. So what we have to do is put our floating action button as the topmost view of our application. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to modify the body section of our view. And we're going to insert a Z stack here. Inside this stack, we're going to add our button. And for now, we're going to leave the action empty. We'll add an action later on. Um, so we can leave the action block empty. And for the label, we're going to use an image with a B plus icon. So let's add an image here. And we're just going to use the system images. Um, this one's just called plus. So now, as you can see, we have the plus uh, button in our app. Uh, and what we're going to do is increase its size. We're going to use frame to achieve this. So the frame function takes in a width and a height. I'm just going to choose 70 points. And we don't need the alignment here. So now that we have the frame, what I'm going to do is also modify the background color. And to do this, we can just use the background mod modifier and insert a color. So for example, we can use color uh, the green color. And a floating action button is usually in the shape of a circle. And to do this with Swift UI, we can use the clip shape modifier. And for the shape parameter, we just need to provide a circle. Great. So now we have our button and I'm going to do some uh, styling changes. So for example, I'm going to increase the size of the plus icon. And to do that, I'm just going to use the font modifier. And I'm going to provide a large title font. I'm also going to change the color of this icon by using the foreground color modifier. And I'm going to set it to white. Now I'm going to add two more modifiers. First, I'm going to add some padding around the whole button view. And I'm also going to add a shadow. So we can use the shadow modifier with the radius parameter. And I'm going to give it a radius of 2. Great. So as you can see, we have our uh, floating action button on the screen. But right now it's in the center of our app. Usually the uh, floating action buttons are put at the bottom on the app, of the app um, on either side of the screen. For most languages, this is going to be on the right side of the screen. And to achieve this with Swift UI, we are going to use more stacks, like I mentioned earlier. First, we're going to use a vertical stack um, to shift the fab to the bottom of the screen and then we're going to use a horizontal stack to shift it to the right of the screen. So to add a vertical stack we can use this shortcut um, if you click on the command key on your keyboard um, and then you press button we can select the embedding v stack option. Great so now we have our button in a vertical stack but it's still in the center so to make it shift to the bottom we're going to add what um, in Swift UI is called a spacer. 
and basically we're gonna say okay we want the spacer to take up everything uh, or all of the space vertically except for whatever space other views are taking so if we add a spacer before our button that will let us shift our button to the bottom and then everything else will be taken up by the spacer as you can see here great so now to shift our, our fab to the right, we can do something very similar. We're going to embed once again our button in a stack, but now we're going to use a horizontal stack. And if we want to shift our floating action button to the right, we can add a spacer before um, our button. And now that will let us, uh, as you can see, that will let us have our button on the bottom right of the screen. Cool. So now let's say we want to add more views to our app. So what we have to do is make sure that those views are um, below our floating action button. So basically the fab is going to be the last view on our Z stack and any everything else um, can be above it. So for example, we can add some text. Um, Right, and that's gonna be before our button. And let's say we wanted to add an action now to our fab. Um, one, one thing we can do is, for example, change the text inside our text element. So let's add a variable to keep track of the string. So we'll provide that as the parameter of our text view. And if we want to change that string whenever the uh, floating action button is tapped, we can just add it inside the action. So let's do, for example, uh, tap. Great. So let's run our app and see if our button works. So if we press it, this text should change to tap. Cool. As you can see, our text changed and our floating action button works just fine. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you learned something new today. And if you want to learn more about iOS app development with Swift and Swift UI, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'll be posting more videos very soon. Thank you for watching.